BBC News with Moira Alderson. A total of 12 Israeli hostages and four from Thailand have been released by Hamas in Gaza on the sixth day of a pause in fighting. 30 Palestinian women and teenage boys are due to be freed from Israeli prisons in return. The US Secretary of State has arrived in Tel Aviv to discuss extending the temporary truce and increasing humanitarian aid into the Gaza Strip. US prosecutors have charged an Indian man with conspiring to assassinate an American citizen who advocated for Sikh independence. They say the man was recruited to organise the attempted murder by an Indian government employee. Police in Germany have arrested two teenagers they accuse of plotting a jihadist attack. They say the boys, aged 15 and 16, were planning to target a Christmas market and a synagogue in Cologne. Peru's constitutional court has restored a pardon given to the former president Alberto Fujimori and said he must be released. The 85-year-old is serving a prison sentence for corruption and human rights abuses. The Canadian government's reached a deal with Google that will see Google pay news outlets more than 73 million US dollars to host their content. The French Alps and Salt Lake City in the United States have been confirmed as the sole respective candidates to host the 2030 and 2034 Winter Olympics. Cristiano Ronaldo is facing a billion-dollar class-action lawsuit in the US over his promotion of Binance, the largest cryptocurrency exchange in the world. The plaintiffs claim the football star's endorsement led them to make loss-making investments. Astronomers have discovered a closely packed group of six planets that have had unerringly stable orbits since their formation. They say this indicates they never experience major impacts or the close passage of another star to disrupt their orbital rhythms. BBC News.